plan. You made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me a lot of things. Icarus was once his, the doors to Atlantis need to be sealed, and something about mind-controlling artifacts. I, I think I left with more questions than answers. Yes. He tends to have that effect on people. When you and he... Well... Did you know he was over a hundred years old? <laughs> He looked young for his age. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hello. Oh, The closer we get to Sparta, the more memories we can in. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos I could forget. It was as if I could yeah. locked Sparta in a box and put it to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to, but it would have taken all the food in the land. Have you lost your senses? Yeah! Come on! Come on. <gasps> this is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> You remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them.
I'm not your mother, but I'm sure she's proud of you. Tell her I'm sorry I yelled. I was angry. I didn't mean to. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? These boys were in trouble. I thought I'd help. No, she didn't! Don't lie to me, boy! You should be ashamed of yourself! And you... These boys are weaker now because of you. The Spartan army will be weaker because of you. I should kill you where you stand. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahogi is what turns boys into men, and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Cassandra, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe me, Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. Well, training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Kotia, keepers of peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Spartan never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. And last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But, for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? 
I've tried to block out what happened here. You were so scared of breaking him. You ran around the house, gathering every pillow and blanket. You piled them all around you, and only then did you feel safe to hold him. He was so small. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Brasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers. Then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. The last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. That sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Grandfather was a Maybe one day they'll sculpt a statue of me. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So... Our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. 
I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. You have to go through me. Incredible! Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias. We're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Two innocent children were put to their deaths that day. Cassandra, enough. Apologies, my king. She's been away from Sparta for a long time. You both have. This one has fire like her mother. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion, and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Illots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kreptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once. But the Kreptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. 
And where would I start looking for these cryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarax Point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was last seen in one of the villages west of Hilot Hills. He's definitely the loudest of the three. My mother spoke of these cryptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the king's guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kreptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were dealt with. But lately, these Kryptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kryptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Found him. The weapons have to be here somewhere. There's only one Spartan here that I need to kill. It'll be easier if I don't alert the others. I need to take down their commander. Now! 
That's two. Time to find the others. Take much longer. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Papsanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Akidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Papsanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. I yield. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos's guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings. May I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia, my king. She helped with the Elotes rebellion. They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship, to reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Your elders had both her children thrown off a cliff. 
They tore our family apart, Cassandra. Not here. But the minute she thought Sparta was in danger, she came back. She brought us both back to help. How dare you accuse her of not caring? I've heard your grandfather couldn't control his temper either. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta. And kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta. And redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this uh, fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. One of the kings is a cultist. So one of these tasks is surely a trap. But which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your eyes open. I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Ο πατήρ μου 
έλεγε τι με You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Papsanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Cassandra, of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that'll make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Let's go. Oh. I see her. He comes back soon. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master. Maybe explain the situation? What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now, to add. For the final touch, a rose petal. Testicles will smell so good. I hope he appreciates this. Oh, it smells so good, I almost want to keep it for myself. Oh, 
αλλάξει το πόλεμο, θα παγκοσμίσει η Δεύτερη. Είπε πω επικίνδυνοι I never thought I'd actually get to see the Olympics with a champion, no less. Can't see the appeal. Everyone coming together peacefully in friendly competition, rather than on a battlefield. You'd think they'd just kill each other, like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. Then training, good for the Constitution. Yeah! Technically, is the champion! Uh. What do you want from the great champion, Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion! Champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no! Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, what is this stinking piece? Are you all right? Yeah. Actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. Time for a little drink to celebrate. <laughs> Sail first, drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> He'd better fucking win.
Nika! I'm gonna win! Are you excited for the games, Cassandra? Well... Sparta! Woo! Stand where you stand. Feet firmly planted, even in the sand. Our spirits soar on high, for a Spartan never truly dies. Huh? It's a poem. A Spartan poem. Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who do you think will win the most wreaths this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pankration, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who's that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oil before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I like to be oil. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. Though. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Cassie. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pankration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on, apart from the Pankration? There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. 
The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Talk to him. <laughs> Ella. <laughs> Pancration here. I'm here for the Pancration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water. I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pancration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Come on! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pancration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action. For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! Come on, coward! Yeah. Oh, that's not fair! This is a it hurts! Why is your tough look gone now? Why you? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what she can do against... Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! Ugh. You're simply delayed. Death is near. The crowd loves you. 
But you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon we will return for the final contest. The mighty Cassandra against our reigning champion, Voriaf. <sighs> Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion! Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing... a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias. Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? It's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonidaeon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poison? Do you think that they could be too, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Move or you'll get hurt! Sanctuary of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. is fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. Proves it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. This food smells strange, but it's not rotten. Hmm, supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. Yes. 
Now, we're going to have a conversation. Please, please, I, I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know. I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race. But then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades, I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Koroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. This must be the antidote. I should be extra careful in this area. Yeah! Pankrat! 
Dion here! Last chance to claim your spot! Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I fought all sorts of people. And they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Come to wish me luck? Of course! And if you win, you should come dine with me sometime. Maybe I'll hunt you down after the event, to take you up on your offer. Of course, after the event. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how she does against our reigning champion, Zoryas! Gods have looked kindly on these, our champion. But there can only be one winner. Sparta! Yours is eternal glory. Giddy up. Come on. There. We'll be good to see Mater and Brasidas again. Come on.
Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you? You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. I'm just a traveler. And there's more than one broken spear in this world. And the eagle he mentioned. What eagle? Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Just a traveler, she says. <coughs> Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin of your shit-eating face! He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, and you may walk out of here alive. You show mercy. Arcadia will give you none in return. Speak! You'll find them on a hill. A cliff overlooking Tegea. You said Brasidas didn't pay enough. Who did? The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain controls the world. Consider yourself lucky. I've seen enough blood. Oh, 
but you'll be seeing a lot more. Welcome to Arcadia, Cassandra. Come on. The Archon dead. Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. Your messenger is lucky to be alive. He betrayed you, Rasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rose to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King in Sparta will be clear. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this Lagos problem without too many beheadings. Excellent! We need to handle this how you handled the monger in Corinthia. I'll keep that in mind. Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket, and Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the Cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Bounties and threats aren't Lagos's style. He's a farmer, not a killer. What do you think we should do? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket, we'll send the false king searching for crumbs. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. And what if Presidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. Where exactly are Lagos' guards stationed? Some rest their heads at the barracks in Tegea. There's also a camp and a fort in Smuggler's Forest. Destroy his guards there, and his defenses will be weakened. Tell me where to find the silos. The Archon stores his wheat in Pan's cradle. Set the silos alight, and his livelihood will go up in smoke. I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb. You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and wheat. This is personal.
has to be some proof around here. You came. Lagos still lives then. What exactly is this place? Lagos is a very public figure in Agadia. This is where he handles his more private affairs. Remind me, why are you covering for the man who wants me and my mother dead? I've known Lagos a long time. He got supplies through to my lines when my soldiers were starving. For him to act so dishonorably is completely out of character. What are you looking for? If we can find out who's manipulating Lagos, there'll be no need for blood. I thought Spartans drank blood for breakfast. <laughs> I've seen enough for two lifetimes. Still, I have hope. <laughs> You're getting soft, Brasidas. When Leonidas died at the hot gates, we all came together against a common enemy. Athenians, Spartans, fighting side by side. What is it? Someone's here. Were you followed? No. Good. You have the letter from Lagos? I do. Our job is to deliver this to the Scorched Tree, near a golden field. Someone will meet us there and take it to the hideout. A letter from Lagos? It could have the answers we need. I'll follow them. You keep searching the house. I was brought here with Lagos's family. I thought we'd be killed. Where are they? Below ground, with many guards. I need you to go tell my friend Brasidas I found them. He should be in an old farmhouse northeast of Tierra. I'll do it. Thank the gods you came to help us. What's down here?
Sandra, Brasida sent me. Are we going home? I have no idea. We've been trapped in this filthy cave for days, with no word from Lagos whatsoever. You're free, but it's not safe to return to Lagos yet. Are those scary men still with Pater? Have you heard of the cult of Cosmos? Only in whispers. Ever since my husband found new business partners, they've stationed guards around our home. For our safety, he said. Then one day, those guards dragged us here. They're making your pater do things he doesn't want to do. I'll find Lagos and release him from these... scary men. And what of us? I can't go back to that reps. And now that these guards are dead, we're in danger. For now, go to my friend Brasidas. He'll meet you at the safe house, northeast of Tejea. Where Lagos has his secret meetings. Are you angry, Matter? I am grateful you saved us. We'll go find Brasidas. Here.
I've found the Archon. I knew you'd come find me sooner or later. What tipped you off? I know it was you who freed my family. They're safe thanks to you. I did what I had to, even with everyone in Arcadia trying to kill me. The world is so chaotic now. The cult made it that way. We're living in divided times. Sparta against Athens, old against new. <laughs> and you think the cultists aren't stoking the flames on both sides? I've seen what they can do, what they're willing to do. I want what's best for Arcadia. I'll consider what you have to say. It's not too late. Leave the cult of Cosmos and join Brasidas. You consider me your ally today. How can I know you and Brasidas won't change your minds? We can work together against our common enemy. You deserve better than to live under the threat of the cult. You sound like Brasidas when he was your age. You give me hope. The cult gave me this. They said it was a sign of my devotion. Maybe you can use it against them. I'm sure I can find a way. I lift the bounty on you and Merini, and may you find success in your fight against this evil. Thank you, Archon. We appreciate it. You saved my family from the cult by yourself. You're courageous. Why? You've made an enemy of a king. Pafsanias threatened my family with torture and death if I betrayed him. Pafsanias? Do you have proof? Here. Evidence of his treachery. Thank you. I'll see about this king of lies. The bounty is lifted. Lagos is alive. See? I knew we could solve this without violence. That cultist deserved to die. Lagos is no longer with the cult. 
I convinced him he's safer without them. The cult of Cosmos would eat their own young if it serves their needs. Not Lagos. He was being blackmailed by King Pausanias. He had Lagos' family at knife point, and I have proof. King Pausanias? We must return to Sparta to confront him. We may have won a wreath, but the kings also wanted us to conquer the Viotians. True. You are needed there before we return. Very well. I'll take my leave of you, Cassandra. I won't soon forget your good work here. It was good to see you again, Marini. Though we had our disagreements, I do hope you regain your house soon. Arcadia is safe once more. And the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. I'm looking for... You! Stentor? Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? What is the Spartan army doing in Viotia? We sieged Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The king Viotia will weaken his position. The wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. I'm here on business. What's going on? Everything is fine. The Viotian rebels are a problem, but nothing we can't handle. You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Vianira, Nesea, and Veragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. Where will I find these mighty Viotians? I only know of two. There are reports of Aristeos occupying the military fort of Gela. Nesea was last seen in the forest east of Thebes. I thought the Viotians hated everyone. Why are they working with Athens? They see both Sparta and Athens as enemies. But Athens got here first, and they agreed to a temporary alliance. What's so great about these champions? They're just four people against the Spartan military. Sparta has its army, 
And Viodia has its legends. And they're a symbol of what this place used to be. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. This is it. Ella. <laughs> Ella. These tracks don't look human. They lead away from the camp to the north. This hut must be Nasea's. I guess she prefers the quiet of the forest over living in the city. This fire's fresh, and the food's still simmering. Nasea can't be far away. Stalks the mighty hunter. The hunter.
There he is. Off we go now. Hello. Looks like I missed a fight. Potter? Cassandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. You came all this way to help Stentor. Good. He needs it. It's about time I started protecting those I care about. You're right. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye, Cassandra of Sparta.
The Amira, the champion. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. They're not punishing you. They're helping you. Why do you think I'm here? The gods must hate me if our paths keep crossing. From what I've seen, 
You needed a divine intervention. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better. Yeah! <laughs> 
victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might have learned more. Stop. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, Your you... Your job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace! One would be enough, but all three is better! You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here's the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. How many times do I have to tell you? Centaur, she owes me nothing. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. Let's go. Hello. Hey! You nearly hit me! Yeah. This 
I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Cassandra. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Afors and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Afors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Afors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Air Force? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. I brought home a wreath for Sparta. Though, I had to enter the games and win it myself. Very good. But what of our Pankration champion, Testicles? There was an accident at sea before he could compete. Games are hardly important. What about Viotia? Stentor and I defeated the Athenian forces. You have nothing to worry about. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pafsanias. I have traveled Spartan lands and beyond, and found proof of Pafsanias' betrayal. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. These traitors are willing to kill hundreds, to rule thousands. Here's all the proof you need. Proof? What proof? So the rumors are true. We never would have thought a king could be so dishonorable. Honor belongs to history. You deserve death. How for dare your you crimes. threaten a king? Pafsanias, you are king no more. As of this day, you are exiled from Sparta. Before Athena and Eris, I swear you'll regret this. Justice will be done. You'll have your justice, puppet king. Forgive us, my king. My daughter couldn't let him stay in power any longer. Of course not. You've more than earned your citizenship. Sparta owes you thanks and releases your home unto you. Your home has returned. Our homeland. Let us leave the court to its business. We'll talk outside. As for Pavsanias, it would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. He is a cultist, after all. When you've dealt with him, meet me at Leonidas' tomb. I must show you something important. I'll find you there, Mater. King Pavsanias is part of the cult of Cosmos. I'll have to kill him myself. What? <laughs> Ella. Ella. There's Pafsanias. Malaka. You are going to kill some of these.
It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. It did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Prasidas, come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pilos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. It sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in his path. If Vimos is in Pylos, we have to stop him. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Alexios is in Pylos. You have to bring him back, Cassandra. Bring him back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll bring him back, no matter what. This is serious, Cassandra. We may not get another chance. I understand. He must have seen the cultists or what they truly are by now. It doesn't matter what you have to do. Bring back your brother. You must. Nothing will stop me. I shouldn't keep Rasidas waiting. Be safe, Cassandra. Off we go now. This is good news for a change. Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. Come <laughs> on. 
pushing them back! Me. And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. Is yours and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop. Enough. We will not stop. I don't want to kill you, Alexios. But I will stop you. I
Finally reunited, only to lose each other again!